how to use the saturated line tool with a gradient brush. A gradient brush that I'm going to create in this video. I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that. Create a quick selection using the marquee tool and rectangular marquee. Then go to the gradient tool. There are many different gradients available, but the one we want is the rainbow gradient. A number of panels need to be displayed. Subtool, subtool detail, etc. Find them all via the window menu. Hold the shift key down and then apply the rainbow gradient. There you have your beautiful rainbow gradient. How to turn that into a brush? Well, just go to edit and now register material and image. And make certain you click the use for brush tip shape. Give it a name. You can see the image there. And save it to a location. Now I'm going to go for brush just down there in the image material. Click OK. That's it. The brush has been saved for future work. Just going to deselect that now and I'm going to remove it. Either create a new document or just fill the document with white via the edit menu. Complete your fresh document. Go to the figure tool and then select the saturated line tab. Once you've got that, go to the second entry, the one marked with a curve. The dark saturated curve. Go to the subtool detail panel. For the destination layer, use the create a new saturated line layer. And the next category is the most important, continuous curve. It's the big difference from the other subtools. Go to the drawing interval category and then go to gap of line. Decrease the value and then what happens, the saturated line becomes really, really intense. You get a full blanket of the current color across the design. Go to the ink category and set a blending mode. I'm going to go for difference. There are, of course, many others. Lighten, darken, etc. I want to create some really extreme colors. Difference is a really great way of doing that. Set the anti-aliasing. I'm going for the middle option. Next category, brush tip. That is where you can access your rainbow design. Go to the tip shape and select material. Scroll through all the brushes. Just find the one that you created. Rainbow 2. Click OK. You can now see the rainbow in the preview. A beautiful, colourful rainbow. With the continuous curve feature, you can apply the gradient brush in all kinds of ways. You can concentrate it in certain areas. It's a layer. If you're not happy with it, you can always delete it. I'm always trying different approaches. Now we've got a lovely, super colourful design there. So add another layer, curve. The generated curve contains control points which can be added to and deleted. You can also scale and rotate the control points. Create another layer. If you're not happy with the layer, just delete it. Then apply another saturated line. Add another one and another. Up to you. With the control points, you can add them at any point in the document. All kinds of combinations can be created. Small, big, stretched. With the difference blending mode, the colours can be really extreme. You can always go too far. A more noisy, colourful noise effect is appearing. I don't really want that, so I'm going to delete the current layer. I'm going for a more colourful streak design, so I really want to keep the layers to a minimum. Layer menu and flatten image. Blur the image via the filter menu and blur and radial blur. You can create a really beautiful blurring design using these lovely streaks of colour with the radial blur. 
And then you've got this lovely sort of smeary colour all the way through it. Recolour it via the edit menu. Tonal correction and maybe hue and saturation. Or the excellent gradient map. Click any of those gradients. I'm selecting golden sunset. And click OK. A golden saturated line. Created using the gradient brush as well as the saturated line tool. The rainbow brush can be used also with many of the other brush tools. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel, always adding new tutorials about Clip Studio Paint. Also, please add some comments, as well as a like or dislike. Thank you much.